Max, I thought you quit in prison. But well, guess what guys, I'm back. Hey guys, Max here, and today we are back for another episode of Cosmic Prisons. And guys, it has been a long time. This series has been awaited by many of you guys, and I am glad to bring back this series. Many of you guys were asking me, yo, Max, where has the Cosmic Prison series really gone? And what's happened to it? What have you been up to? And guys, pretty much, if you didn't know, I actually stopped playing Cosmic Prisons around two months ago and now we are making a return i actually stopped playing because you know obviously i wanted to try see if i could do anything else other than prisons on my channel and obviously it kind of backfired my channel wasn't really doing too well well i tried to do other things on my channel and that didn't go to plan so guys we are back and i am really excited because it has been a while since I've played Cosmic Prisons and I think a lot of you guys are really excited. So if you guys do want to come join the server, the IP is CosmicPrisons.com. So you guys can come join if you want to and also guys the IP will be down below in the description. So I'm guessing you're all wondering, Max, what planet are you playing on? And if you guys haven't seen my streams, then make sure to go check them out because we actually had some fun over there. I just want to say a huge shout out to Fire Demon. Fire Demon is a good friend of mine and he's actually been grinding on my account for like the past couple of weeks now here on Cosmic Prison. Since he was grinding, this has allowed me to like progress fairly decent into the game. And obviously without him, I would not even be here, you know, making this series. So everyone, make sure you guys go comment down below. Hashtag fire in the comment section, guys, right now. Make sure you guys comment that down below. So the planet which we are playing on this season is the Sovereign Planet, guys. This is the planet which Mr. Woofles and Preston himself are playing on. So if you guys do want to come join, feel free. This is the planet that I'm going to be playing on and as you guys can see the age of the map is actually 20 days old so you know you still got some time to start playing you guys may be wondering what happened to all these other maps or planets i should say so pretty much what happened to these planets is that they were destroyed guys they were destroyed as you can see here it actually defeated Celestial and then it was in like a three-way battle so it was in like a 1v1v1 and then Sovereign actually managed to beat Ulu and Varon. So rip Ulu and rip Varon. And guys, we have the main planet, the planet which kind of started off my channel, which is the Sovereign planet. So let's join guys. And holy crap, dude, it feels so good to be back. It has been a while, guys. It has been a hot sec. And we see a guy over here with... I don't even know, dude. I don't know what skin that is. Holy crap. We have Common Death. I think I saw him in the Discord. Yo, I know this guy, dude. He's in the Paradox Discord, guys. If you don't know, for Cosmic Sky, we do have a Paradox Discord where we can actually invite you guys. We have giveaways and stuff in there. If you guys want to join that Discord, then you can just join it down below in the description so if you guys are hyped for the return of cosmic prisons smash that like button let's see if we can get over 60 likes guys i know that's a lot of likes but i feel like we can do it together guys so right now help me out down below smash that like button and also make sure you comment to the hashtag fire because you know without fire we wouldn't be here right now so currently um we are in a gang called eat the sock so eat the sock is actually an admin gang which is owned by slayer Tatuminator and Beanie. I am actually currently co-leader. Well, I am not, but Fire is. Fire is a co-leader and is also a recruiter. But you know what we're doing right now is I feel like we may be getting some people up here to the level 100. You can see that Easy K is almost 100, Veronica is almost 100. 
Uranium is almost 100, BD is almost 100, and you can see all these guys in the gang are almost 100, which is really good, guys. We do have something planned, which is coming up in the next couple of days. So I think you guys should be excited for that. Also, um, if you don't already know, we are actually truced to Tater Tots. If you don't know who Tater Tots are, Tater Tots is a gang which is owned by Preston guys or oh, well, it's owned by Wing Lasher but Preston is in there so it's kind of cool to be truced to Preston Uncle Cosmic Sky I think is in our alliance and then over here he's actually truced to us so that's actually really cool guys I think this series is gonna be the one that you guys want to keep your eyes on so let me quickly show you guys the cell and you know quickly just give you a cell tour because I know a lot of you boys or girls or <laughs> anyone that's watching the video right now are wondering do you have a cell what cell are you living in and how is prisons different so let me quickly do slash cells and you guys may be wondering oh max it's the same as before it is not the same guys it is not the same so as you can see right here a low security cell costs three million dollars you have to be level 35 or prestige 1 or higher to actually get this. So once you're level 35, you can actually get $3 million and purchase a low security cell for yourself. So you can see here, for a medium security cell, you will need level 100 and the price for this is $40 million. And over here, we have high security cell. And for this, you need to be level 101, which means you actually need to prestige once in order to get a high security cell, which is at 200 million. And then we have the VIPs or no, no, this is the maximum security cell. My bad. So this is actually a tier one, if you guys remember in the old days. So basically you need to be prestige two, level 102 to purchase yourself a maximum security cell. And also the price of this is 450 million. And then over here, we have a VIP security cell, which is currently worth 1.2 billion guys. This cell cost so much money i don't even know how i'm gonna get 1.2 billion guys let's see if anyone has a vip so far and no one has a vip guys you actually have to be prestige 3 to buy yourself a vip so that's something we are going to have to grind in the future guys so i'm really excited for that but you know we're gonna go over to the cell right now and we actually are living in slayer cell which is currently owned by beanie so it's b2 so section b room 2 and it is a low security obviously because we don't have a lot of hundreds and i'm guessing a lot of people are saving their money you know trying to buy ranks and g gets and all of that good stuff on the ah that's why we don't have too many heightened cells but over here we are the cell guys and you can see is owned by beanie um our neighbor probably got raided and then we have a guy over here let's say what's up to him um this is penguin cell and then we have titan slayer so does titan slayer have anything in there doesn't seem like he does i don't know if he does dude i'm not too sure doesn't seem like and these guys have some sort of defense suit so you can see that these guys have like water with the soul sand yo i've never seen this before um it's probably like an upgraded version of the cell trap which we used to have ages ago guys so this is like a new cell trap design which i honestly want to try out guys i feel like that would be a lot of fun so we're gonna enter the cell guys and let's just hop in here i think that's like a golly door so you know we're gonna stay safe and secured guys so wait where oh I was so confused, I was like, what happened to the slime dude? Holy, so, as you can see here, we have a bunch of guards. As you may know, guards are something which you want to have inside your cell, guys. Guards are the things that protect your cell, and having these guards right here are just so good. So, you know what, I'm just going to give you a little tour of the cell, guys. Alright, so over here, guys, we have max shards, okay? You're wondering, you're max, okay? You haven't played for ages, you're only gonna have like two stacks of shards. Guys, <laughs> that's where you're wrong. Look how many shards I have. Look, dude, 
This is insane, guys. Okay, if you want to see a shot over the next episode, guys, make sure you smash that like button and also leave your feedback down below in the comment section because, you know, you guys honestly help me make these episodes as great as they can be. So let's go over here. We have mech stuff. And I'm guessing this is just the spare stuff that Fideman had in the PVs that we didn't really have any room for. And, like, you know, currently we do have a bunch of stuff in here. So we've got a white scroll. I don't know why a white scroll is just sitting in there but you know obviously you know it's good if the gang needs it then obviously it's gonna be helping them out a ton so yeah we've got some bigs here silence one which is pretty nice and then as you can see apparently silence one is a really good enchant so you know that's something that we're gonna have to work for this season i'm really excited for this also we got blood magic over here which is all right and enlightened one pretty bad rates you know pretty bad rates and over here guys these are all of my diamond gens so these are all the diamond gens i have right now i think i currently have like 50 plus diamond gens pretty good pretty good you know i'm not i'm not doing too bad guys i feel like a lot of people don't have too many gens right now in the season obviously because you know it's only 20 days in and money is pretty hard to make so i don't know if you know but gen prices actually increased so remember when a diamond gen was going for like 120k 120k or 240k somewhere around there so if we go over here a diamond ore generator cost around 1.2 million guys you can see that i've spent a lot of money on these diamond gens and obviously guys you know it's coming in handy man it's coming in handy we have the ore it's just afking over there somewhere and then we also got legendary crude ore so you know obviously to place down the diamond ore generator you need to be mining level 90 they've actually changed prisons up a lot since when i stopped playing so this is kind of amazing to see and they've actually you know made this update into something really cool and you know i'm really enjoying it so far so over here we do have legendary crude ore you need to be like a certain level to place the crude ore and as you guys to see we cannot place godly crude ore because we need to be level 101 so that's actually pretty nice and then yeah um over here we do have these new things which i haven't really explored yet but i am probably going to be checking them out pretty soon on the server guys so that's something which we will save for the later episodes and then over here we have a gen breaker which you guys can actually upgrade. I think you upgrade this by using energy. I am not too sure, guys. But yeah, that's awesome. So let's actually tour around this cell. And then we have some sort of throne over here saying fire OP, fire is OP, fire equals OP. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know about this, guys. Let me know if you think fire is good <laughs> down below in the comment section. So we're going to go up here. And I'm guessing this is where Slayer has his gen. So over here yeah slayers diamond generators please no touch you so guys you know don't touch slayers diamond gens <laughs> over here we have these diamond gens holy crap dude they've been stacking for so long that it's actually become a diamond ore guys this is actually insane i wonder whose gens are these and then we over here we have some iron gens just in case i'm guessing this is for the lower levels in our gang you actually want to mine and get themselves up there and the top floor we do have a little staircase made out of lapis lazuli and then we are greeted by a couple of redstone gens and then a couple of gold generators which are also pretty nice you can see that we're not really using the most efficient setup right now i feel like if we had another setup it would be more compact and it would be a lot better but you know obviously this is elite crude or if it was like legendary crude or it would be a lot better and then we have the lapis god look at this guys this is amazing man holy crap and then yo this is like a coal god we had this going for like i don't even know guys look at this 400 coal gens in there that's insane and then you can see 14k is on one of these guys i don't even know man someone must be block beasting holy crap dude all right so let's go down here and yo that's actually pretty much the cell guys we don't have too much in the cell currently uh i don't think too many people are actually access to the cell we have uraniums gold gen so i guess he has over here 
which is just AFK and ARK. So that's actually pretty awesome, guys. That's actually awesome. That's really nice. And then what I really want to show you guys is my PV because a lot of people have been asking, like, you know, Max, what could you have which is so good? If you can tell, we have Emerald Generators. Okay, two stacks of Emerald Generators to be more precise. And then we have some Golden Crude all over here. So, a lot of you may be wondering, Max, how is he able to afford all these Emerald ore Generators? And we actually sold my XP for a decent amount of money. I think it was like $215 million. And then we ended up buying some gens. And then obviously, Fire has a CF addiction. So he's been CFing money here and there. But something crazy actually happened the other day. So, something that was really crazy was, if I do, slash... I can't remember the command, is it? Okay guys, so if you see slash jackpot top, I am currently in fifth place, okay? I've been winning so much energy. If you don't know, you can actually now, so now you can actually enter a jackpot for energy and then basically your energy will turn into tickets and then it will just enter you in and you know, you just gotta hope that you win. And somehow I've managed to win three times already. Like, I don't even know what my luck is. 572 million energy is just a lot, guys. That's honestly mind-blowing. And then if we PV1 over here, we do have some decent stuff, guys. You have some decent stuff. Um, I don't see the energy stack somewhere. So, that might be, you know, some in the PV right now. I think we cleared out some of our PV space, which is actually really good. And then we go to the PV5, and I think, yo, dude, I don't want to show you guys this. These are pretty much some of the most OP items on Cosmic Prisons currently. So, let me quickly show you guys how many XP boosters we have. We don't have one. We don't have two. We have 16 three times multipliers for 90 minutes guys i don't think you understand how op that is but it is really good for leveling up so last week we actually had a double xp on the server and it was a lot of fun i was actually grinding up some of it and taking advantage on it and it was actually pretty amazing so over here we do have another xp booster which is kind of mad we don't have 16 we have 17 and then over here we have our 350 million energy stacks so currently you know we are doing pretty well for a player on cosmic prisons you know this is far better than your average player but obviously guys you know it does take a bit of luck to get that much energy because you know by demon told me he entered with like three million energy and he was like you know i didn't even think i was gonna win and somehow he managed to win he managed to bring home some energy for us so that's awesome you know especially when we're making god sets that's gonna come in handy and over here we do have our pickaxe with warp minor five and if you don't know Warp Miner 5 is actually pretty OP guys. Over here we have an Emerald Satchel, we have another Emerald Ore Satchel, we do have a Diamond Refined Satchel which is also really nice, and then we have some Boots, we have another Warp Miner 5, and another Warp Miner 1. So I feel like we're doing pretty good this season guys, pretty good this season i am excited for the future of this series so um yeah pretty much guys that is the cell that is me giving you a little update on what you guys can expect for these episodes and honestly guys i am really excited if you guys are as well feel free to smash that like button and also leave a comment down below of what you want to see in the next episode in the next episode i was thinking maybe we could actually try and revive Sui Ying. I know that sounds crazy. Max, what are you thinking about? But yo, it might actually be possible. I don't know. But you know, there's always a way, guys. There's always a way. And then also, what I was thinking is about covering this brand new update, guys. Because I haven't checked out this update. So I'm probably going to check it out tomorrow, guys. I am free hype for this episode, man. I don't know why I'm so excited. But I feel like it's just because I've been away from prisons for so long, guys. And you know, I'm just feeling filled up with excitement and filled up with the hype i am so hyped for this season of cosmic prisons because this season is not gonna be like a 
greatest season that you've ever seen before guys this is gonna be one of the best seasons that you've ever seen on cosmic prisons if you did enjoy this episode make sure to leave a like sub and a comment down below thank you so much for watching guys have a great day and i'll see you guys all in the next video Peace. Roll, roll to the ships, even though I shouldn't. AMDA next stop, new wave, new pace. Man, a proof's in a pudding. Flip that, hold the feds ain't looking. Jump in a lab with a beat, then build up a spliff, then get to the cooking. I wanna get up with the guys, wanna get some cash, wanna get some bookings. Roll to the ships, even though I shouldn't. AMDA